next video I will be doing in whoa, words are hard. <laughs>
translucent stickers, which I really, really like. I've got a couple of, it's just a mix because you got some cute ones. You have some vintagey looking ones all in here. Um, yeah, these are really pretty. I'm already liking the pop pack. This month's pop pack way more than I liked the last one. And then the stickers, the stamp stickers. Black and white. Got some black flora here. Some more by Suri Draws. Some actual stickers here. I really like this artist's style a lot. These are index stickers, so you fold them over a page to mark a page in a journal or a book. Stars and moons. And then we have some gemstones. These are like the 3D stickers, the raised stickers. Very pretty. You know what? I'm pleased with the pop pack this month. I was skeptical with the very first one that I received, but I don't know, like this one was a hit. Last one was a miss, this one was a hit. So uh, yeah, I'll keep going and see how it turns out. So I'm going to put them in my little book here. All inserted and organized. All right, the next one that I'm going to go into is the cute pack. Again, another organizational insert here. Um, and this theme is pink and mint. So pink and like a pastel green. That's what we're going to be seeing in this today. What do we have? So two little items in here. We have... Oh, I don't know who this guy is, but he's super cute. Little stickers. And then a little angry strawberry cat. <laughs> I love that, actually. <laughs> this is not my, hugely for me, my aesthetic. I don't really, they're super cute, but I don't really love those. I'm actually going to give those to my kid. <laughs> this, I think, is fantastic. What a crumpy little strawberry cat. So now we have the notebook, little stationary item here. Little flowers, pastel flowers. Now this is something, this is a style that I can get behind. It's very soothing and just cute and reminds me of like summer and spring. I would love to have a cup of tea in a cute little mug while I'm just jotting away on this. I like it. All right, so the last cute pack was 50-50 for me. Um, some of them, some of the stickers I didn't like very much and some of them I really, really enjoyed. So let's see about this time. Okay. Oh, how cute, I can't even. This is definitely a hit for me. I love these, these cats. Please. This is fun. I like the clothes and like the little shoes and the color scheme for this. Again, it's so springy and just soothing. Oh, more of from the artist that did the, uh, the stationery. So strawberries, I love strawberries. I like this too. Okay, more Pusheen. I mean, this cat. It's just a little too much for me. <laughs> so, no on the Pusheen. Again, that's another one I'll give to my kid. Oh, little penguins with sweets. How can you not like that? What kind of monster would you have to be to not like that? I'm not that monster. <laughs> so, like. And, um, again, this very, 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 very cutesy, like, animal, very pusheen like. But anyway, these are hyper adorable and somebody is going to really, really love these, but they're just not for me specifically. However, that was only two. Oh wait, I missed one. So this is the, these are the pretty borders and strips with the mint and pink. I really like this. This is baking. It's all like baking and sweets. Really, really like that. So really, um, this was another hit too. It definitely wasn't 50-50 this time. There were only two stickers that I didn't really like, and that's pretty good for the whole thing. So this month's Q pack was also a success. And last but not least is the vintage pack. This was the one that I originally was going to subscribe to before I got super curious about the other ones. I can't get it open. And it's just an envelope. Wow. This needs to be my modus operandi. She can't open things. So this month's theme for the vintage is lavender and honey. 
Mm. So our little stationary item here looks like um, a paper clip. You can use it as a bookmark or just a little marker as a tulip. And then our little, uh, oh, okay, what are these? We're hiding behind that little notebook. Assuming these are little stickers too. Those are pretty, they're just very large. These little gemstone stickers. Very nice. You know, it makes me think of, not many people have seen this movie. Of course, lots of people have seen Snow White, but then there was a movie released, um, was it called Ever After? No. It was another cartoon, and it was about what happened after with Snow White. And she meets the seven dwarf elves, and Mother Nature is involved. The evil queen's brother is now the antagonist, and it's just it's such, such a weird, interesting movie. I liked it as a girl, and for some reason this just reminds me of that, of the colors and things. Has anybody seen that? Anyone? We have, I'm guessing this is like a little notebook. Yeah, it's a little notebook. Very interesting. Kind of creepy, but in a good way. So now for the stickers. This looks promising. I'm loving the color scheme, the purple and the pastel yellow. So here are our sticker borders. Honeycomb. We have honeycomb and the spring flowers, all the purple flowers. Love it. Oh, and then books. So books and tickets and journals and even says sticky club on there. How cute. This is, I think this is probably my favorite sticker sheet so far out of all of them. Oh, and then we have some Van Gogh stickers. There. And some purple, like very Victorian. We got the fan and the lace umbrella and the shoes. Oh, I love this too. No, that's, now that's hard to say now which one is my favorite because I have, there's two here that I really, really like. And actually it looks like the next one is the vintage yellow. So we have purple, purple scheme here, and then the yellow one, and they are both so well, I don't think I could choose a favorite one out of this. I, I knew that I was going to like the vintage, the vintage stickers, though, the vintage style ones. All right, and so here is that artist that did the cute little notebook. Very last sticker sheet are the kind of raised stickers, the flowers. I guess what would be wildflowers or what I would call wildflowers. What was another... I knew I was gonna like the vintage bag, but that was definitely another huge success for the vintage. So that one I will not be giving up. And I do think that I'm gonna continue on with the cute pack and the pop pack as well, since even though the first ones I received were not like 100%, these, these for this month were really impressive and I liked pretty much everything. I already have ideas and I can't wait to use my new stickers to make some beautiful things that I will probably show no one that will make me happy. So, and that is the gist of it, isn't it? Make yourself happy. So that is all I have for you today for the unboxing of March's Sticky Club. So next video, I will be doing an Ipsy unboxing or Ipsy Glam Bag and Ipsy Glam Bag Plus. Again, I recorded these in the past. I may have a baby now. I may not. I don't know. The way this kid is acting, it's like he wants to stay in there forever. Anyway, I will keep you updated. Until the next video, take care. Be well. Bye.